morning. Welcome Sagittarius. Rose Burnett here and uh, we're going to be doing a timeless reading for you, pulling some messages from Spirit. And big welcome to those that are new to my channel. If you enjoy my videos, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so my videos come through to you in your feed. And for those that follow me regularly, you're rocking awesome. If you do want to go into the competition that's running this month, uh, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel. You can go into the draw to win the beautiful angel reading cards and uh, just pop a comment down below that you want to win that deck you'll go into the draw there's also a uh, 45 minute personal reading up for grabs with me uh, pre-recorded i'll be looking for a very positive community member just pop a comment down below you want to win that reading you'll go into the draw you can also get all of my free readings my inspirational videos on my spotify podcast in both video and audio so you can listen wherever you go all right, Sagis. So we're going to be doing a nine-card spread in terms of past, present, future. Let's see what's coming towards you. So first up, let's have a look at the situation. you got the Knight of Earth. So it's very much about being in the planning phase. So the field behind him is being ploughed, ready for planting. So if you've got any ideas, things you want to kick off, projects you want to start, it's really about getting very clear about what are your steps forward. What resources do you need? Uh, what action do you need to take? And having a clear plan around that. All right, let's have a look at anything challenging you right now. Okay, you've got that eight of earth, which is you've got to put the hard work in, Spirit saying. You've got to co-create with the universe to bring in more coin. Mm -hmm. Some of you possibly thinking of studying or you are studying. All right, let's have a look at the basis of the situation. Well, you've got the king of water, which is someone very loyal. Um, guys, this can represent you girls. This can represent a partner you're currently connected with, someone coming towards you in terms of a love interest. Um, very trustworthy, beautiful love, solid romantic relationship coming into your world or already in. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at the recent past. So in the recent past, you got the chariot, which is recognition of all the hard work you've been putting in. Some of you it represents uh, rewards, um, you know, public recognition, could be promotions. All right, let's have a look at the present. Well, you've got the Wheel of Fortune. So things moving forward, obstacles being moved out of your path. For some of you it can represent travel, buying a new vehicle, delays being over. Let's have a look at the near future. Mm. you got the emperor which has been very disciplined organized uh removing distractions uh not procrastinating there's so much here about you working on your coin but very being very disciplined about it all right let's have a look at your energy sagis mm. spirit saying just rely on your strength at this time everything you're working towards is going to pay off well, let's have a look at the uh, energies of others around you Okay, you got two here. You've got the six of water, which is possibly looking backwards on the past. You may have people coming back to you from the past, whether it's romantically, it could be a childhood friend coming back, possibly thinking about how things used to be. And you've got the ten of air, which is this, it's a brand new fresh start, but it's about leaving those things that didn't work out behind, leaving the swords behind. It's got the luggage pack. So some of you can represent moving, relocating, time to leave the past behind, particularly if you're still recycling through it. All right, and that's mentally and emotionally, my loves. All right, let's have a look at your hopes and fears. Okay, you've got the eight of air. So some of you are holding yourself a little bit stuck, procrastinating, and spirit saying you take the mask off. Recognize where you're holding yourself stuck. That's why you got so many messages here to get organized. All right, let's have a look at the outcome. You're the moon, which is very much trusting your intuition to guide you. Any decisions you need to make, implicitly trust what feels right for you. All right, let's put you some clarifiers with the Muse Tarot. Let's have a look at the center here where you're very much focused and working hard on your coin. 
Mm. Again, you've got the four of uh, water, which is looking backwards, four of emotions. Versus living in the present moment. Some of you are focused on the past. Mm. You've got to get into the emperor energy, which is charging forward, being unstoppable. And you've also got the magician. So this is very much, to be honest with you, in the context of your reading, Sagittarius, it's about focusing your mental thought processes and your emotions on what you want to create versus spending a lot of time and energy on things that haven't worked out that are in the past. Mm. Very Being very clear about what you want to work on. Uh, let's have a look at this new this love interest here. Mm. Okay, you got the page of inspiration. For, for some of you, if it's not love coming in, it's doing something you love and trusting your inspired ideas and your creativity. Let's have a look at the Wheel of Fortune here. Mm. Spirit's saying whatever you do, you need to apply temperance and balance. Physical energy, mental, emotional energy. There's going to be a lot of ch fast, rapid changes coming, Sagittarius. Let's have a look at the near future where spirit's saying you have to be very organized and disciplined. Mm. You got the ace of voices, which is is an owl there representing the truth, seeing situations, looking at situations in a different way than you're currently perceiving them. Because you've got the nine of materials, which is this beautiful self-made success. Whatever you're going to put out there in terms of your effort and your energy around your work and your career, it's going to come back to you in terms of financial rewards. Let's have a look at you relying on your strength right now. Oh, there's definitely a soulmate coming in. Hello. A mirrored pair. If you're looking for love or you're already in this connection. All right, let's have a look at uh, either someone trying to come back to you from the past, you releasing the past. There's a message showing through that some of you have got new love coming in or you're in a new committed partnership. You've got somebody trying to come back to you from the past, but you're already closing the door on that and moving yourself forward. You've already released the swords, but they're still watching you. You're not interested whatsoever, darlings. I can see that. But you are looking backwards. Yeah, again, you've pulled the six of emotions. You are looking backwards. You've pulled this message out three times in your reading. When you waste that much energy looking backwards, you just, darlings, you've just gotten, you know, you're not focused in the present. You've got to rein that in. That message resonates with you. Mm. Some of you have been through a tower moment or you're going through a tower moment. So if you keep looking backwards, you are going to experience a tower moment. Mm. Spirit saying, go within. Find some inner peace. This is the hermit. Take some time in solitude to sort your mental and emotional body out, yeah? You've got your friendships here that you can rely on, um, possibly as a sounding board. Some of you are pining over something that didn't work out and it's finished, Spirit saying, but you're just wasting your energy on it, my loves. You are. Yeah, again, you've got the four of inspiration. So... There's a beautiful sense of connectedness to your friendships here and you need to rely on them at this time. Let's have a look at the outcome. And the outcome is the ace of inspiration, which is you focusing on new beginnings, particularly around your ideas and your creativity. Taking that focus off the past and looking towards the present and the future. Wow. <laughs> Let's put you some guidance from the Nature's Whispers Oracle. Mm, yeah, you've got the message to make a decision. She's paved in gold on one side and lots of colour on the other. There's no wrong or right choice, right? It's just whatever feels heart-centred and most aligned with you in the moment. There's a message to show your support, which is to others. Mm -hmm. There may be somebody in your family or your friendship circle that needs your support and love right now. And there's certainly a gateway opening up to love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, new love. All right, let's pull you a message from your angels. 
Oh, so you've got your destiny here. Your destiny is to blossom, to shine, to transform to an ever greater light. All about focus, Sagis. Where are you putting your focus? All right, let's pull your crowning energy from the uh, Pegasus Oracle. Oh, wow. So vibrant. You pulled the Pegasus of the Black Diamond. Have a look at that. So gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Let's pull you up the guidance. It says Sagittarius. It says Pegasus, guardian of the soul, connects you with your inner spiritual authority. You are laying claim to your strength, your dignity, your self confidence, and self respect. Your soul has a genius capable of transforming any tragedy into triumph of spirit. Such alchemy arises from suffering that burns away attachments and self-limiting identities, emptying us so that our souls naturally activate and attract spiritual deliverance. Pegasus is your guide, helping you shift from hopelessness to confidence and healing. Pegasus of the Black Diamond speaks of the profound wisdom and strength you have gained through your encounters with the darker side of human nature. Your soul growth has been hard won, but you can't, but cannot be undone. Negativity may arise within or around you, but it will never overcome you. With this sign of tremendous growth and awakening, you're being asked to recognize your spiritual strength. Allow your inner knowing to ease any concern that has temporarily confused your heart. The spiritual worlds offer gratitude and acknowledgement for all that you are and do. You deserve whatever you wish to ask of the universe. Pray with conviction that your prayers will be answered with grace and kindness. A time of difficulty, a cycle of challenging karma is now complete. You've crossed a permanent threshold into grace. Allow your mind to catch up to your spirit and you shall experience deep abiding peace. Oh. So apt for your readings, my loves. Mm -hmm. All right, darling, so I see your messages. Love to hear your feedback, your comments down below and how it resonated with you. Reach out for a personal reading if you feel like you need extra guidance and support at this time. I have just opened some 30-minute readings if you want to focus on one aspect of your life or you can also get an extended reading with me. Link is on here and down below. Mm -hmm. All right, for now, much love, much light. Namaste. Mm -hmm.